All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here, talking real music in real time for a few real people out there, just like you, just like me. All right, so unfortunately, yet another rock and roll legend who you may or may not know has passed away at the age of 71. Uh, his passing really calls attention to a band that I think a lot of people probably forgot about, Burke Shelley vocalist and bassist for the band Budgie. He has died at the age of 71. Again, a lot of these rock and roll people do not live uh, a long life. It's just um, part of the lifestyle, maybe. Uh, Burke Shelley, vocalist and bassist for the influential Welsh heavy metal band Budgie, has died at the age of 71. Uh, it was announced on Facebook by his uh, daughter, Ella, it is with great sadness that I announce the death of my father, John Burke Shelley. He passed away this evening in his sleep at Heath Hospital in Cardiff, his birth town. Uh, he was 71 years old. Please respect the family during this time. Uh, Budgie was formed in Cardiff in 1967. They gigged locally for a few years before releasing their uh, self-titled debut record, in 1971, produced by Roger Bain, the guy who worked with Black Sabbath on uh, their debut and on their album, Paranoid. Budgie proceeded to record an album every year until 1976, developing their sound into an eclectic mix of blues-infused, hard rock, traditional heavy metal, and expansive progressive rock. Um, as a note here, Budgie is a pretty cool band. If you've not heard them, you should listen to them because... Uh, they certainly influenced a lot of what would come after them and their sound was really earthy and organic and um, heavy. Let's just say that they were a heavy band. Um, Budgie broke up in 1987 before a short reunion in 95 and a return to recording and touring between 99 and 2010. Their last album, which I guess predicted the future, was called You're All Living in Cuckoo Land. Uh, it was released in 2006. A number of artists have cited Budgie as a major influence, including Iron Maiden, Queens of the Stone Age, Megadeth, Soundgarden, and the Melvins. Um, Metallica notably covered the Budgie track uh, Bread Fan in 1988, released as a B-side on the Harvester of Sorrow single, reappearing on the covers compilation Garage Inc. in 1998. So even Metallica was influenced by Budgie. In 2020, Shelley revealed that he was suffering from an aortic aneurysm, as well as an underlying genetic condition, Stickler syndrome. He told Wales Online at the time that he had turned down surgery for his aortic aneurysm as it carried the risk of irreparable spinal damage. Um, he said here, I want to live what life I have left and not be crippled. He said, I've got faith in God and have no worries about where I'm going. Cool. So I'll just go when he decides to take me. And in the meantime, I'll carry on doing what I want to do. Simple as that. So it sounded like he had some hardcore, uh, legitimate religious faith and, uh, good for him. Uh, but again, another one of these bands that uh, people have kind of forgotten about, I won't say written off completely, but uh, Budgie is probably not on the tip of anyone's tongue when they're talking about bands that should be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I do believe based on the low standards that the Hall currently has, that Budgie certainly um, could at least get on the ballot and... Um, people could vote for them and determine whether or not they should be inducted or not. Obviously, uh, their influence was real and uh, their musical talent was earnest and palpable. And certainly, um, if you go listen to their music, you're going to find that it's at least very interesting, at times a bit peculiar and off the beaten track. But um, that's what makes a great rock band, uh, somebody who kind of paves their own way creates their own unique sound and Budgie definitely had that sound. So again, our thoughts and prayers go out to all the fans of Mr. Shelley as he has passed away. It's a sad day. At least there's no real cons 
conspiracy or question around this because most of this happened in 2020. And uh, even though we had begun uh, the new dark world at that moment, uh, it appears that uh, Mr. Shelley did not visit his local pharmacy to do anything prior to his aortic episode. And uh, I guess in a way that's uh, good news, but it's still sad that he's not here. He definitely went out on his terms, which I think is really great. And, uh, you know, he lived life the way he wanted to live. But again, a lot of these rock stars, 71 years old, that's not old. That's not the life expectancy. And I'm not saying his lifestyle contributed to his problem, but um, <clears throat> I don't know. We don't know what kind of life that uh, he led, but I'm assuming that he probably indulged in a lot of that rock and roll stuff back in the day, especially if he was uh, hanging out with the likes of Ozzy Osbourne and Black Sabbath and those guys. But uh, we don't know if they toured together. All we know is they had the same producer. You'd have to go back and look at who they were opening up for, who they were touring with. But my guess is they probably crossed paths with Sabbath a few times. So in any event, um, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We are on the cusp of uh, getting to 50K, which is pretty cool. Uh, also, don't forget about Patreon, a dollar a month. Uh, we got some new patrons made up for some of those old patrons that left um, on New Year's Day. So I appreciate that. Uh, and we'll see if we can uh, get us back to where we were prior. Um, but that's up to you guys. If you want to support the channel, you can do so for as little as a dollar a month. Uh, until the next video, my name is Dave and I will see you soon.